You guys have really been bothering me this past week to talk about monkeypox and the Texas shooting is the only thing in the news right now. But because of the nature of these topics, there's really no way for me to be truthful about it without compromising my social media presence. Best case scenario, the video is more censored than I already am, completely shadow banned, and no one really sees it. More likely, the video gets taken down and I get penalized. So under the ad suitability guidelines, you can get an idea of what they don't want you talking about in general, even though that's technically specified in monetization, inappropriate language, adult content, violence, shocking content, harmful or dangerous acts, recreational drug content, enabling dishonest behavior, hateful and derogatory content, firearms related content, sensitive events, and controversial issues. Those two last ones, sensitive events, controversial issues, being the main problem as the rest of them never really apply to my videos. Sensitive events. Recent events dealing with war, death, or tragedy, fleeting mention of sensitive events, educational content on historic acts of terror prior to 9-11, educational content on terrorism or terrorist groups absent of graphic imagery or footage of actual terrorist attacks, educational or documentary content or public service announcements on drug trade organizations, discussion of terrorist attacks, events resulting in the catastrophic loss of human life, non-educational discussions of foreign terrorist organizations or drug trade organizations, content on these groups featuring graphic imagery in any context, or including the names of these organizations in the title of the video. Basically, whenever lives are lost, you know, with you know what, <laughs> Yeah, at least when they tell you lives are lost in the news because we don't really know what's going on. We're not there to see what's happening. They don't want anyone who's not in the club talking about it because as with every single social media story, there is an agenda behind it and they want the majority of the population to believe what they're saying is truth. Controversial issues. Topics that may be unsettling for our users content discussing preventing controversial issues, content where the controversial issues are mentioned fleetingly in a video and are neither graphic nor descriptive, content about controversial issues that are not visually disturbing yet may contain descriptive language, content that is dramatized, artistic, educational, documentary, or containing scientific presentations of these issues, content which focuses on graphic depictions or detailed descriptions of controversial issues, content is either graphic or highly descriptive, with controversial issues being the central topic of the content. So on the screen there, you guys just see three paragraphs, but if you click on each of those, it goes into much further detail with both controversial issues and sensitive events. And the gist I got from this one was that it's specific to children, like abortion, trafficking. Basically, if you know something that shouldn't be going on and you post it on any social media, including YouTube, it's gonna get taken down very quickly and not that many people are gonna see it. Uh, hopefully this gives you guys an understanding of why I'm not touching certain topics. There's no real point for me to talk about it. What am I just, I mean, I say the same thing anyway. I just basically say, hey, you know, the, these people in the news have lied to you over and over again. They clearly have an agenda behind what's going on. But, uh, you know, I, I can't point out specific details and explain it and, and get people to understand exactly why it's fake because then I would just get taken down immediately so uh, I guess the thing that's been on my mind is I had to fill up my gas tank in my car three times this week like sixty dollars each time and we made a video about the gas uh, like I think a few months ago maybe two or three months ago but not only I think the gas is watered down like at least fifty percent at least that's it, this is crazy i usually i fill out my tank every week and a half two weeks even with the increased gas prices but this week was horrible especially not only did they jack the prices up another 25 percent, but the watering down is i'm surprised people don't notice it and just file a class action lawsuit against these big businesses i'm sure you'd win um they'd rather pay out a few people than uh than to get everyone to find out that they're watering down the gas and start measuring and testing stuff anyway I'll be able to do a separate video on that. So thank you guys for joining me today. Sorry I can't talk about, you know, all the stuff in the news. I know it's interesting. I know it's on most people's minds. But, you know, that gets you to understand that anyone that is talking about this stuff, that is popular, 
is in the club and they have their own specific agenda. So, whatever. You guys can go to frank-defano.com to support me through all of my businesses. But if you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys. And I'll see you for the next video. Thank you.